Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson, and this is Real True Street Crime. I want to address the elephant in the room. Let me get started by addressing the elephant in the room. Let me tell you what Eddie Jackson Sr. and Eddie Jackson Jr. was not. They were not killers. Understand this. Let me go a little further. When my father started in the game, it was a cut called Strychnine, which is rat poison. Eddie Jackson took Strychnine off the dope and refused to continue to sell it unless he could find another cut because you were selling straight poison. Strychnine is rat poison and they was cutting the dope with it when my father started the game. One of the reasons he was called the originator is for taking strychnine off the dope, killing people. When you shoot so much strychnine, it builds up in your system and it kills you. Eddie Jackson was not a killer and took strychnine off the dope. I done told everybody out in America right now, and I'm telling you again, it ain't dope at all, it's fentanyl. If you, America, hear me hear anything I say, it is not dope at all, it is fentanyl. You do not have dope dealers out here. You have killers out here. Anybody selling fentanyl is not a dope dealer. Because let me explain to you what a dope dealer is. The people I used to sell to, I loved them and they loved me. Understand this. I would never sell them fentanyl because I loved them too much. Let me tell you about my customers. The people I loved and served. When I went to jail, they were sending me money. My customers who was getting high and got high, was sending me money. Understand how much they loved me because I took care of them. When they was bold, I made sure they wasn't. And when I was bold sitting in jail, they sent me some money. Quite a few of them. Give them $20 for me. Give them 10 for me. All the dope things added up and sent me something. I loved them. I could never sell them fentanyl. Let me explain that to y'all. My father took strychnine off the dope from killing people. A lot of people, no, no, no. Eddie Jackson was one of the biggest sellers in the state of Michigan at that time, and he took fentanyl. He took strychnine off the dope, which is just as bad as fentanyl today. Understand this. I could not kill Omar from The Wire. I loved his acting too much. I couldn't give that man fentanyl and then call myself his friend. I have seen so many people die from fentanyl poisoning overdose and say their friend gave it to them. As I said to y'all a couple days ago, with friends like that, you don't need no enemies. Those are killers, not drug dealers. Understand this. One of the worst falling out I ever got with my father is when I gave Sugar Bear the dope too strong and the damn near old deed him. My father, I have never seen him so upset with me. And if I was going to continue with him, that better never, ever, ever happen again. Understand this, how much the man cared. And let me go down to how much I cared. For all of you out there, so you'll know for yourself. I quit the game because of fentanyl. I could not kill William Harmon. I could not kill all of the people I love, Annette. I could not kill Jackie. I could not live with myself killing people like that that's taken care of me for over 25 years. I'm used to seeing them smiling, saying, wow, that was good shit, Eddie. Give me another bundle. Understand this. 
If that was the case, they would have never come back because they would have been dead. I am not a killer. I left the game because of fentanyl. I refuse to sell it for anybody. I am more than a man than to sell that garbage ass bullshit killing people on the streets. Eddie Jackson is not that. Eddie Jackson was loved and will always be loved because he was helping people. People like to get high in bad times. That's true. I love to smoke weed. Some people love to snort coke. Let me explain another thing to you about fentanyl. One of the closest people to me, Paul McDaniel, died of a fentanyl overdose. They put the shit on the cocaine and the man OD'd and died. It crushed me. I left the game just like this. I bought 100 grams of dog food. And the shit had fentanyl on it. What I did with it, 100 grams. And I left the game after this. I took 100 grams and I threw it over the Belle Isle goddamn bridge. Because that's all it's worth. I threw it in the water away. 100 grams of dope hit with fentanyl. Because I refused to pass it on. I'd rather take a loss of 100 grams and find something else to do, like telling stories to you all and killing people. Because I've went to too many funerals of friends who have OD on fentanyl, and there is no motherfucking way in the world Eddie Jackson would sell it for Chinese people, Italian people. No people in this world would I kill my people for. Understand that they ain't dope dealers. They kill us. Because I love to see the faces of my people. How can you live with yourself? I'm serving 52, 7. If I was a killer, all of them. That's insanity. To see Keisha Cole's mother gone from that bullshit. And the person gave it to her. Call herself a friend. Y'all got some hell of a friends out there with no morals and no scruples. When they brought me in the game telling me about fentanyl, I told you I threw 100 grams away. Niggas telling me you split beads. Brother, I don't want to know anything about fentanyl. Keep that to yourself because I don't want to be in the game. That's not a game for me. My soul is not a killer. And I got to sleep at night. So I can't sleep at night killing people I know Wake up the next day, motherfucker, man, so-and-so dead. They got that shit from you. How can you live with yourself? How can you live with yourself killing people? Do you really need money that bad? And you're not going to make that much? All that money that brother from the wire had, whatever sale they made him, and for whatever amount he spent, they will never make another dollar off him ever. And he had plenty of money to spend. It shows you the insanity of selling fentanyl. And you out there who are pushing it are less than men. Because you know you're killing people. And you ain't making no serious money. Because you're killing people. How can you make money when you just killed probably one of your biggest customers? He probably was that guy who served him one of his biggest customers. Now, how is he going to find another him? How long you think they're going to let you stay out here killing people? Really? You're not selling drugs. You're selling death. You're charging people to kill them. Man, give me $20. Now, he just paid $20 to die. This is the insanity of this. I beg you all to stop using that shit in America. Because it's tragic. I done lost more people, went to more funerals. I got a box full of obituaries of users died from fentanyl. It is a tragedy. I have seen more people die from that and people who sell it. I have seen people who sell their mothers and fathers who use and they have died off of it. And their own kids sold it to them. Can you imagine that? You give your father a blow and he go in there and on the off of it. How can you live with yourself and how can you keep selling that shit to anyone else? 
you give a blow to your mother, she have a motherfucking stroke or something the first time, the second time she OD off that shit, man. And this is her son giving her that shit because he's the one selling it. Now, if you ain't got no more scruples than selling fentanyl, then killed your motherfucking daddy and also killed your mama. You are you less than a man. I couldn't participate in a game like that. Eddie Jackson ain't never needed no money that bad ever in life, and I do not need it now. That's why I left the game. I don't want one dollar of fentanyl death money. You got everybody crying, everybody hurt, and for what? That little piss-ass money you made. Now, you got to go find somebody else to kill. Next motherfucker you going to give it to. So you're going to be a killer going around. Everybody know you selling that shit. That's killing everybody. It's a tragedy out here to see this and to see us as black men have no morals for one another. I couldn't pass that on to nobody. I threw it in the Detroit River because that's where it belongs. It does not belong on the streets. Just like all these guns the NRA are putting on the streets, they do not belong on the streets either. Neither one. These war-grade weapons that they are putting out here on the streets for us to kill and battle one another over nothing. It does not belong there. And we as people have to change this. You have to have enough morals to stop pushing that fentanyl bullshit, killing your people. You have to have enough morals because you're not going to be rich. And in the end, you're going to spend life in penitentiary. So I'm giving y'all all a warning again. It ain't fentanyl. At, it ain't dope at all. It is fentanyl. And if you're selling that, you ain't a dope dealer because you're selling death. You sell a nigga a $10 blow. He go in the house, blow it, and die. How can you call yourself a drug dealer? You will never serve him again. So you killing people for $10. You killing people for $20. This is what you killing people for. An ounce a nigga might buy from you. Four, five thousand. I can't even tell you what an ounce of fentanyl shit costs. Because I left the game because I'm not a killer. And it ain't dope at all. It's fentanyl. And Eddie Jackson left. So don't sit up here and talk about drug dealers. They are killers. They are not drug dealers. Black Butch has left the game. He is not a killer. We are about money. We are not about building bodies of dead people in our community. That is not what Black Butch is about. That ain't what Eddie Jackson was about. That ain't what Eddie Jackson Jr. was about. None of us is about that. And all of us, Black Butch is not in the game no more. I'm not in the game no more because we all have morals and scruple and we have made so much money off of these people. There is no way we could want to see them dead. So I had to address the elephant in the room and the tragedy. And I want to say to the brother's family, I truly was a fan of his, loved his work on The Wire, Loved him in Superfly. Everything I saw that brother in, I loved him. And I am the first one to say whoever gave him that shit should be going to penitentiary. And I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You are just straight killing people. And it is a tragedy out here. And this is Real True Street Crime telling you here at Real True Street Crime, we had a heart to take Strip 9 off the dope. And we had a heart never to participate in the fentanyl trade. I threw a hundred grams away because I refused to pass it to anybody and have anybody's family crying because Eddie Jackson gave them some fentanyl. No, 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 no. This is real true street crime telling you about the real. Telling you about this is that real shit. This ain't that TV shit. This ain't that made up TV shit. It is a fentanyl epidemic in America and it's real true street crime shit because they kill us. They are not dope dealers and don't call them dope dealers. Call them killers because they won't be selling dope 
to people for long, killing their whole clientele. They're going to keep having to reinvent a clientele because you're killing them all. This is real true street crime telling you about how I threw that shit in the Detroit River and would never pick it up and never regret it, throwing it away because not one life was lost off of it. On my account, I got to sleep at night and wake up. And it that damn sure ain't going to be pushing fentanyl for Japanese people to American people to kill them. No, 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 no. It ain't dope at all. It is fentanyl and it's worse than morphine. Some shit you seen them use on the battlefield when your leg had been blown off and they think you're going to die and they trying to kill the pain. This fucking fentanyl is worse than that. Why in the world would it be on the streets? When they put morphine on the streets, morphine pills, at least they broke them down to where the people could tolerate them because they know if they give you pure morphine, it's worse than fentanyl. They've always had that shit out here. Why now would they unleash it on the public? This is Real True Street Crime. Eddie Jackson Jr. saying subscribe, share, and like. All of this shit come at the same time. Corona, fentanyl, opioids, all this shit, which is all death, running right down the pipe, right there behind each other. Tell me, this the America you like? This is real true street crime, subscribe and share. And I had to address the elephant in the room. Because I heard a lady say, dope dealers, I, they ain't dope dealers, lady. Those are killers. Call them what they really are. They are killers. They are not dope dealers. Dope dealers get up, hook up, wake up, make sure niggas make money, make sure the bag there, make sure the dope ain't too strong because that's your money. Understand that. You're going to cut the dope down as much as you can because that's your money. You're going to make sure it ain't strong enough because too strong because that's your money. If the dope old dear people is too strong, come down off of it a little bit. This is real true street crime. Subscribe, share, and like. Most niggas never really had dope good enough to come down off of it. That's why most niggas probably don't even understand when I said it's too good, come down on it, put a little more cut on it. But understand this. We went from strict nine, took that shit off the dope, went to Manita, lactose, dormers, and a baby laxative. Lactose is a baby's laxative. Understand what lactose is, what dormers is. Dormers are a sleeping pill. Manita, another cut similar to lactose. Subscribe, share, and like. This is Real True Street Crime, breaking it down to you real. It ain't dope at all, it's fentanyl. And don't confuse them with dope dealers because they killers. Two different things, dope dealers and killers. Those are killers because they ain't making serious money because they're killing too many people to really make serious money. And sooner or later, the feds got to enter to pull you off the streets, killing people. So this is real true street crime telling you subscribe, share, and like. We are not killers here at real true street crime. I like to see a smile on a nigga face. Just like when a nigga give me a joint of some good ass runts, I like to see that same smile when I gave a nigga a good blow or a good cane. Nigga, that shit is nice. When a nigga give me a good joint of runts, puts a smile on my face. Be ashamed if it was killing me. This is Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share, and like, and thank you to all. We are not killers. We do not sell fentanyl, never have, and never will. I threw away 100 grams of fentanyl and took a loss because... I would rather lose 100 grams of garbage fentanyl than one person, than one person to lose their life. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart here at Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share, and like. Go over there and check Simmons Law out. Brittany Simmons, a fine young attorney. Check her out and she'll definitely help you out. Check out Jelani's Taste and Table. World-class chef with the medals around his neck to prove it. Check out Top Tier Cuts 313, Super King for the weekend. Check out Coney Island Chronicles. Coney Island Tony is Coney Island Chronicles.
Check out Mac Taff and Clan's Loud Delivery. 420 style. Take it for yourself. Get you some gummy bears, Snickers, Skittles, or just that loud. Straight out of Highland Park, Michigan, Mac Taff and Clan's Loud Delivery. Check them out for yourself. And we cannot forget about Big Boss Film over there scorching them on fire, letting them have it. Big Boss Film, Courtney Brown Jr. over there scorching them. And check the Black Dispatch out over there on Big Boss Film. And you've got to check out Motown Mafia Podcast on Spotify. And while you're on Spotify checking out Motown Mafia Podcast, stop by and check us out on Crime Town. Kingpin's Kids, and hear Fat Man, Ron Gill Valley, and Mort Krems for yourself. This is real true street crime saying, this is that real shit. This ain't that made up TV shit. This is the real shit. Real true street crime. Why lie when the real true street crime will do? Motivate, don't hate, and meditate, don't hate if that help you too. Motivate, don't hate and meditate. Don't hate. Understand that. This is real true street crime saying to you in the words of Eddie Jackson, immortal fat man, Big Bear Cola, Mr. President, magic fat man. I'm going to be seeing a lot of you all. <laughs> From the fat man taking the strip nine off the dope because it was straight poison. That's why in the day they used to always say it's poison because they was putting poison on the dope, rat poison. So I'm sure it's poison if you put poison on it. Real true street crime. Subscribe, share, and like, and thank you to anybody who take one minute to view Eddie Baby. Thank you all. I'm out.